Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Earthbound Zero. Um, now I went a little bit north to Mary's here real quick. What I did off screen is I actually went back to Magic Hand using the Magic Hook. And I dropped off some items. And I'm gonna sell the last one here and also buy something. Because I actually think I, um, I missed out on an item here. Yes, yeah, so let's sell the plastic bat. Yeah, sure, just get some more money for it, you never know. Now what I highly, highly recommend you buy here is, um... Oh, where is it? Okay, I know it's in the store somewhere. We're looking for bread. Certainly not sports goods. Foods, here we go. Nice. Okay. Now, the reason why I picked up that bread is because uh, the next area we're going to is very maze-like. Um, and I actually have a map open and on, a, on a different screen right now, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, well, simply put, we're going to take uh, care of the Little Sweets Factory, or the Sweets Little Factory, whatever it's called. <laughs> and our incentive to come here is that we need to find a bottle rocket for Lloyd. <clears throat> so we have a new enemy. This is a bear. Um, I This thing hits hard. That's pretty much it, though. It's nothing too special. I mean, it's doing more damage than most enemies do at this point. I must have a lot of health, too. I hope it doesn't get a critical. Okay, there we go. I must have roughly like 80 health or something. Oh, level up. Perfect. Oh, new PSI power. I'll check what that is um, in the next fight. Let's see. So I believe it's just like straight south of here. Here it is, here it is. Alright. Let's see where our new PSI ability is. Um, hmm. It might be healing beta. Could be quick up as well. I don't know. <laughs> You know, I really, really wish they told you what you learned. Like, I don't know, it just seems kind of weird to me. It seems like something that would be pretty obvious to do. Instead, you have to actually look in the menu, but if you look in the PSI menu, it only shows you the um, the supportive ones you can use on the field. So anyway, we are in the little sweets fact. Oh, okay, there are battles here. <laughs> Now, there are a few kinds of monsters here. This is the weakest one right here. Y you're most likely going to be one-shotting rats because, uh, well, you might remember, we, we fought these things like in the first area of the game. Now, I actually forgot how you use this. I think, um, yeah, you start dropping crumbs. And then when you use the crumbs again, I think you warp back to, like, where I just, uh, where I used it. So it's not, like, literally an escape rope. So don't don't use it at, like, the end of a dungeon or something, or else you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna be in a pretty bad position. Now, when I looked at a map for this place, um, it's not as bad as I remember it being. However, it's still very confusing. So I actually recommend having a map open when you're playing this. Here's a new enemy right here, the Barbot. These things are relatively strong and a little evasive. Oh, they aren't? <laughs> I'm, I'm probably a little overleveled right now, but... Nah, whatever. It lived a critical hit. It must have a lot of health. I guess they are evasive. Either that or I'm getting really lucky or unlucky here. Now, I actually know a little bit of trivia about this particular dungeon. I hear that in the Japanese version... This dungeon is actually a lot more confusing. Like, it's a lot bigger. And then they uh, they toned it down for the North American release. So that's kind of nice. And I kind of like what I was talking about earlier about this sort of thing. I don't think it was in an attempt to make it, like... I don't think it was in an attempt to dumb it down for a stupid Americans or something, because a lot of RPGs did that back in the day. I genuinely thought, like, they make the game, uh, like, these changes make the game better. Like, a dungeon like this does not need to be massive. And, you know what, they, they changed it a little bit, so, and I actually quite like that. 
All right, so our next location is down here. You know, back in Magic Kingdom, you can buy the Repel Ring, and some guides I found actually recommend you do. What's in this? Antidote. I'll probably throw that out. If you guys have watched me play Pokemon, you know, um... Oh, nothing's in that room. Um, if you guys uh, have ever watched me play Pokemon, you know that I don't really, like, use repels or anything that often. And the reason why is because, like, honestly, battles aren't really that big of a waste of time for me. If anything, I like them because it means you're not going to be underleveled. Because any, um, any RPG worth its salt is going to, like, have you be at around the right level. Like, if you just fight every monster normally. Now, this game doesn't do that, but I... Okay, worth its salt is probably a bad way to put that, but... The really well-designed ones have you be around the right level if you do fight everything. And I like to respect that. Okay, those physical capsules. I'm wondering if I should save those capsules for our um, our next party member. I'm just going to use... um, I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to use this. Alright, there we go. Magic herb. All right. Oh, and by the way, because I have a map open, I am taking the most efficient route through this place. So I'd like to think that this is objectively, like, the best way to do this. Let's see. There's apparently, yep, just one item in here. A butter knife. What does that do? I actually forgot what that does. <clears throat> Teddy can master it. Teddy? Ooh. <laughs> That's one of the characters that um that uh, we can get later on. Actually, yeah, we, we met him at the very beginning of the game. Well, we didn't meet him, but we named him. Hmm. You can actually get a better weapon for him, though, like, immediately afterwards. So I might end up just throwing that out or, or stashing it or selling it. It's not important. Okay, now up that ladder is where we need to go. So let's go this way first, because there's a few treasures. Uh, according to my map, there is nothing in this room. There is something in these two rooms on the left, though. My inventory is full, so let's go ahead and uh, clear it out. A magic... Oh, okay. <clears throat> A rope. You know, I might use that on the next enemy we see, or the next bar bot we see. Because rats really aren't worth it. <laughs> and I would like to show off what it does, because honestly, I don't even quite remember myself. Huh? Wait. Oh, right. <laughs> it's. I was looking at the wrong part of the map. Alright, what's in here? A fight capsule. I get into an encounter first. Alright, let's see what the rope does. Bound with rope. Oh, so it can't move. That's cool. I wonder if that works on any enemy. Well, I, I, excluding bosses, I mean. Because an ability like that is actually kind of cool. Taking up an eighth of your inventory, though, I feel is kind of a worthy uh, thing for that. Alright, pick those up. I just want to see what this does real quick.
All right, in here next. Hmm. <laughs> you get so many items. Like, and you barely need any of them. You know, limited inventory is actually sort of a problem all the Mother games have, so who knows, maybe that's just like a staple to the series. I mean, it's a tad more realistic, but I like the convenience of having, um, of having infinite, um, inventory that a lot of RPGs seem to have nowadays. There are RPGs with limited inventory that I do quite like, though. I think Golden Sun does it pretty well, where each character gets, like, um, gets, like, maybe 30 slots. And who knows, maybe that is the best way to do it. I took a single damage on my way here or something, so let's just eat this real quick. Nope, I didn't even take any damage. Oh, I should have put the Franklin badge away. <laughs> I don't think there's any electri electricity, or, or actually, I don't think that one skill even exists in, in this area. I don't think we're going to see it for a while, I, actually. I might as well just put the item away. Alright, what do we got here? First things first. What happens if you drink it without, um... No, oh, okay. Quick capsule. Okay, that raises agility. I think I will have to start using those soon, because uh, there there are, like, other things in here that I, um... Let's see. There are, like, other treasures in here. You know, of the four party members you get, um... <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. Of uh, the party members you get, Ness is actually, or Nen 10 is actually the one I kind of want to be the fastest. Let's just get, let's just give him the quick capsule. Yeah, that's fine. Now, if you want to just get out of here, in that trash can is the item we need. You can grab that, then you can get out. Should be two more left in here, and then we're pretty much good. I, I want to open all the chests. Another plastic bat? Really? Interesting. Okay. I'll just throw it out. Oh, don't talk to it. There was a bottle rocket. Now, something kind of interesting about this trash can is that it never runs out of bottle rockets. You can come back here at any point, and uh, you can always get more of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the crumbs. And let's get out of here. All right. That was not as bad as I remember it being. Half because I had the map, and probably half because I was a little overleveled. <laughs> Have we fought the eagle yet? It's faster than you. That's pretty much the only thing special about it. Also, this looks nothing like an eagle. At least the kind of eagles I'm familiar with. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try something. Um, let's try offense up. Oh goodness! Yikes! Get out of here! I, that that was worth it, apparently. <laughs> I wonder if that spell also increases your critical hit rate. I can totally see that. Because a lot of spells in old RPGs like this had weird intricacies like that. It was It's kind of strange. I'll try it again. It worked so well last time. P 
he just grins and bears it. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, back in Marysville. I'm gonna go um, heal real quick. Let's see, the inn is up here. Yeah, right, uh, yeah, right here. Oh no, excuse me, hotel. <laughs> it's, okay, come on now. Alright, let's go back to the elementary school. As we have something for Lloyd. No problem. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, I am Lloyd. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the sweet little uh, the sweet little factory was producing. Wow, this bottle rocket sure uh, is sure to cause a bang. We may be able to make some more um, some more on our own. Come with me to the lab. And now Lloyd has joined our party. We're gonna follow him though. Let me speed up the game here. Later we should go to Duncan's factory. I've heard they're constructing an incredible rocket. Alright, go ahead and speed this up. They call me names, weakling or four eyes, or worse. I'm sure that you've heard them. What the? <laughs> that was weird. Who was walking backwards there? Lloyd, your bottle rocket and my. Great, isn't it? What? Oh, bah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and with that, Lloyd's in our party now. <laughs> That's really all I have to say about that. He he accidentally blows up the room with the bottle rocket. Now, you can go back to the factory. I mentioned this before, but you can go back to the factory and get more of those. Um, and uh, you can and uh, th those are actually like a weapon he can use. It's not a weapon you equip, but you can like use it from your inventory. And it's like it, it's like how he used the rope, but instead it caused a bunch of damage. And I think only Lloyd can use it as well. He's pretty much like Jeff from the previous game. And oh goodness, they are from the from the next game. They <laughs> they clean this place up fast. I'm the mysterious teacher. So, um, secretly I live here. I need money for research. Care to buy an invitation? Wait, what's this about? Please take a look at the price list. Oh, I've heard about these. I hear that these weapons aren't actually that great. Hmm. I'll look into it though, who knows. Alright. Hmm. What do you got to say again? Oh god, I keep doing that. Huh, okay. Alright, now... Something about Lloyd. He's level 1. Every time you get a new party member in this game, and I think even in like all of the... I, I know it happens in Earthbound, I don't think it happens in Earthbound and uh, Mother 3, but they always start at level 1 for some reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Onyx Hook and fly off to... Um, oh, it doesn't consume the Bottle Rocket either. We're gonna fly off to Magic Ant. Screen turns pink, and here we are again. Now, something kind of cool you can do here. Talk to this cat. I am a swimming cat. Have you heard of a magic candy that gives strength and power to helpless children? Um. Wait. I think you need to say no here. The boy with glasses can surely use the candy. And uh, he gives, uh, the cat gives Lloyd magic candy. And it gives him more power. Every time you get a new party member, they start at level 1, and you can actually come back to that cat and they will give him that candy, which gives you a nice little boost. Uh, speaking of nice little boosts, let's go ahead and give um, these to Lloyd as well, and then use them, because I think if you use them from Nintendo's inventory, he just, like, eats them. What does physical cap do again? Oh, it's physical capsule. I thought it was talking like a hat. Oddly, I don't think hats are a, um... Oh, come on now. <laughs> Oddly, I don't think hats are a, um... Are an equipment in this game. Uh, is that all of them? I'm gonna give this to you, because only you can use it. Makes sense, I guess. Our, our, our inventory space is also basically doubled as well. 
Oh, you get you do get to choose who you use on. That was a big waste of time then. Let's go ahead and use these. Okay. Does he start with a weapon? I'm just curious. No, he doesn't. All right. He also does not learn PSI abilities. He's actually not that great, all things considered, unless you give him items. All right. Now with that, uh, what else can I do? I think um, I'm going to stash the butter knife off screen. Actually, I guess I'll just do it right now while I explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to level Lloyd up. I'm going to get him to... Oh man, I forgot what level I want to be for the next area. But the next time we meet, um, Lloyd will be leveled up and I'll meet you guys back in Marysville. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so I think I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.